Now, as we reported yesterday, the Shasta County Elections Commission has made some controversial, potentially illegal recommendations to the Board of Supervisors. Action News Now reporter Jesse Angelo went to find out if the Commission's proposals could, in fact, be implemented. The County Council asked for this motion to be tabled because they want to review it and edit it and the commission went ahead and just ignored them and passed it anyways. That's Shasta County Elections Commissioner Brad Garbett talking about the commission's latest recommendation to the Board of Supervisors. Garbett says the proposal is tantamount to voter suppression. They are working to suppress the vote. They don't, want, they don't want people to vote conveniently and easily. They want people to show up on election day only, and they don't want any mailed ballots. They don't want any drop boxes. They want everybody to vote in person on election day. I also spoke with Shasta County Registrar of Voters, Tom Toller, who says that these proposed changes would not be legal under current California law. When I carry out elections, I'm required to follow the elections code and the regulations that the Secretary of State puts out. And uh, what was proposed simply wouldn't be possible under the law as it currently exists. One of the reasons that this election commission was formed was to prevent voter fraud. Has there been some specific examples of voter fraud that's negatively affecting Shasta County elections? I'm aware of at least a few instances in which it appears and we're investigating a number of people who might have voted twice. In other words, they cast their mail-in ballot and then they also cast a ballot at a polling place. But we don't have a definitive answer on that yet. But in terms of the type of widespread fraud that you see alleged in other parts of the nation, I have yet to see evidence of that. Toller told me that elections have a lot of moving parts and that most discrepancies are the result of human error. As for the recommendations made by the Elections Commission, Toller said those changes would have to be made at the state level. In Reading, Jesse Angelo, Action News Now. Toller also tells us that if people have any election concerns or questions, they can contact his office.